Hi there, my name is Dan and I'm a consultant at Proval Tech. Today I want to go over some best practices for running and testing agent procedures. Let's get into it. In our last videos, we learned how to create a new procedure and how to access external files from within a procedure. Today I want to get a little more in-depth with procedure logic information. First, let's talk about comments. Anytime you write code, in almost any language, you can insert non-code lines called comments. These lines help anyone else reading your code understand it better. Comments can also be used to organize code or indicate where you need to do a little more work so that you can remember where you left off later. To create a comment line in an agent procedure, start a new line with double forward slashes like you see on the screen. Anything after double forward slashes on a line will not be evaluated by the script engine. The other thing you'll notice in our Zoom script that we created last time is that we now have some logic to test if the installer was successful or not. This is important because Kaseya will report that the script ran successfully, that the agent procedure completed, even if it didn't install properly, because Kaseya doesn't know if the installer worked. So in this example, you can see them from the comments that we're running the installer, then checking to see if the installer deposited the program binary in the expected directory. So we write the file to the machine like we did last time. We run that file with the execute shell command like we did last time. And now we have this if then block here where it looks in the directory that it expects to see the ex executable after we install it. And then if we see that file, we write a procedure log entry that says installer launched. If we don't see that file, we say the installation failed. Well, fails because that's a typo. And we know now if we review the procedure log, if we're troubleshooting something, or if we just need to review the procedure log for any reason, we will see here that even though the procedure ran successfully, the installation did not, and then we could further troubleshoot as expected. So that's it for today. I want to thank you for watching. We do post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Kaseya. Uh, to learn more about what we do, visit ProValTech.com, and there is a link in the video description below.